Well, hello, big nonsense. Chainsaw here. Weddings days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I'm playing a bit of Home Alone 2. Lost in New York. On the SNES. I didn't even know this was on the SNES. Um, so it might be an import. Or some kind. I'm not sure. But <laughs> we'll play it anyways. So it's a bit of a Christmassy week this week. We'll start our Christmas reviews, of course. He have had his there on Monday when he was some collecting some presents. I'm running out of Christmassy games um, for the 90s. I've noticed since this is worth his third year, I think it is running. Um, so I'm all out of Christmassy games. So if you know any good Christmassy games, then leave a comment. Um, there's a little Vegabond there. Using credit cards. His name is Kevin McAllister. And there's the burglars there. So there's a bit of a story going on here, but we should already know the whole Home Alone thing where he gets on a plane and goes to New York and his parents go off to some lovely luxury place where he's in Gangsterville getting mugged by burglars. Some guy there is wringing me neck. It's not the first time. I pick something up there and I hide it. I'm getting damaged by um, moving moving clothes bags and stuff. I don't remember this in Home Alone. Um, Gifts. The only button I seem to have is the jump button. There's a Hoover there, <laughs> just moving by itself. You must have poltergeists in this fucking place. Um, bit of pizza. That gives us me health back, so that's nice. I've got, I picked up that object, which are diamonds of some kind. There's an old woman there going to attack us with that umbrella. That's also happened before that. Especially if you call them senile. Um, there's a fucking bag chasing us again. Um, ah, there were bombs. And I got a bit shocked there. A nice shocked expression that is. It was like, a, ooh, oh, oh, no. no. Oh, you motherfucker. Right. So, registration. Guys, hiding bombs it is. That registration about me. I've dodged that. Jumping up and down suitcase. News. Don't know what the news is. Obviously, they didn't have any news. Um, there's a mop there. I jumped over that. There's another mop. I just walked through that. Right, let's get along this level and see if we... Oh, there's an elevator here. There's another suitcase. Oh. Am I waiting for the elevator? Can I get in the elevator? I'm guessing I've just got to jump over these, these objects. That piece of skill there. Did you see? Oh shit! Did you see that skill of dodging items? I can't get in the elevator though. It's a bit annoying. Is this elevator? Oh, I pressed the button there. I think. I just keep pressing the fucking button. Hopefully it will turn up. I've got some points for pressing the button. Oh, the elevator's coming! The elevator's coming! Hang on, lads! Hang on! Get in! I'm in the elevator! I'm in the elevator! I'm going upstairs! I don't know what floor I'm going to because I didn't choose. Didn't give the option! That would be interesting if they had to give you the option, then you could work your way up, up and down. Up and down. And possibly still up. Unless I've got to select a floor myself. i press the button and see if I can get out. Oh, did I get out myself there or not? Oh, well, obviously not because I can't. I can't get back in the elevator. Um, so now the town is to go this way. Eleven twenty-one. Can I knock on the door. Is anyone in? Obviously not. Dodgy looking plant there. They look like they haven't spent much time actually drawing that properly, so they've just like hide it on there. 
Looks a bit out of place. Don't know what that lamp is up there. There's a waiter. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get over him. We'll just keep following him. See where he's going. Maybe he's doing something. Oh, I got in the room. I got in the room. There's a bit of pizza in here. A bit of pizza. There's a bed. I'm guessing if I go out this door. No, I can't. I can't go out this door. I was thinking maybe to go out that door and get past that waiter. Okay. No, apparently not. I can't get through that door. That would have been a nice little puzzle that had a thought about that. But how the fuck am I going to get past this waiter? I tried jumping on his head and no, it does not work and it's game over. So that's a bit of a disaster that. Um, so this game, it's a bit shit. Um, the graphics are all a bit crap. Uh, the controls are not too bad though. Controls are not too bad. Graphics are bad. Um, sound is all right, I suppose. But it sounds like they've just got some soundtrack from somewhere and just hide it on there. Um, oh, this gun. Oh shit, it's disappeared. I'm just wondering if I can interact with any of the other objects in the background, bro. It's a bit weird. You haven't got any actual depth level to this game, so you've won one plane. Um, all in one level. You know what I mean. Um, I've got lots of pizza there. Oh, you can't stand on the fan pod. That's weird, that, like, you see the background. Some parts you can interact with, whereas others you can't. But if you press up, it looks like you can get onto stuff. If you press down, you can't jump back down onto the, onto the floor. Which is a bit weird. Um, this is this old woman. She's she's quite a good jumper, like for her like, sort of age. Uh, watch the bombs. They look like actual apples, don't they? Explosive apples. Like you get in joke shops. Um, watch this bag. Watch this bag. I did it. Did it. There's that new shop again. Right, watch the mops, because I had problems with these last time. Just gotta time it. I just walk straight into it again. Ah. When you move it, um. Oh, that chap's here, though. He's. He's. Hung his upside down by the legs for some reason. That was a bit weird. Oh fuck, how does that hurt you? So the buckets hurt you as well, so you gotta like, so wait for the mop to go up and then jump in between them. Which is a bit difficult. Let's press the lift, hurry up you bastard lift. Oh! Hopefully it'll come in time. Or that bloke's gonna come and strangle us, or hang us upside down, whichever he fancies at a moment in time I suppose. Oh, you bastard toolbox! Like, I don't know if they're in luggage cases or if they're just toolboxes. That's a luggage case, definitely. That was definitely a luggage case. That's another one. Obviously, the shop at the same shop, because all the suitcases are the same. Same with the bags. Don't know what's in the bag, though. Is it, I don't know if that's a suit. Is that a suit bag? Don't know. I generally don't own a suit me, I know what need to. Because I don't generally partake in formal occasions. Big nonsense. Or you can just jump on this bin. That's interesting. You gotta watch them luggage bags, but um, you could just jump on this bin for everything else. Oh, but I get a luggage bag. Haha, look at that skill! Look at that skill! You don't catch me jumping up and down for hours. Oh, yeah, maybe you do. Where's this fucking lift? Oh, yo. What's it doing? Must have stopped off at one of the other floors, I think. Some hippies must have gone on and they're having a joint in the lift, as they do. 
Got to watch out for that these days. People smoking in the lift is quite dangerous, I've heard. I'm just, I'm just gonna. Where is this lift? It's taking its bloody time, isn't it? Oh, nonsense. I'm so. The weird thing is that bloke hasn't turned up. Which he did before. Message reset him right all the way back to the beginning. And he's got a long way to come. Oh, the fucking lift turned up and I died. Can you believe it? <sighs> Big nonsense. That's just a disaster, that in general. Oh, I'm just walking through the mobs. Never mind. At least we've got through them quick enough. What's some, um, I don't know what they are. Like cookies. Is that? Oh, that's pizzas. Look like cookies. Oh, you fucking have only got um. If you look at the top there, you've got your lives and then you've got your hit points. And every time you get hit, it gets a little point off, obviously. And then I'm dead like that so when you've got none. And then it's game over as well. Zero, 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 two, six, two hundred is my score. Give it a go if you want to. See if you can beat it. Um, I'll see you next Wednesday, which will be Boxing Day. And I'll be cooking up a storm with some boxes, I'm guessing. So I'll see you next Wednesday. I'll give this game a 2. A 2 out of 10. I'll see you next Wednesday. And remember, if you ever go to a hotel, always make sure not to be strangled. See you next Wednesday.